Happy day. Josiah, just let me know. Honey has had her calf. No. It is. Uneaten chicken has turned to maggots. Welcome to another day in the life of a permaculture homestead where very gross things can happen at the exact same time as something very beautiful. Oh, be beautiful? Really? Huh, really? You think this is beautiful? Ow! What you doing, bud? Come to you. Well, there's the afterbirth. Didn't happen too long ago, or I think she would have eaten this by now. This was on yesterday when I turned it on after four. Okay, when we put up the calf, let's check the fence. Calf got into the vanilla, and so she got our morning milk. This is how we clean out the cow barn. <laughs> Let's move it forward. That's the milk sled. It's a stanchion, shade, and it's a mineral feed. All in one. Where's this little calf? There you are. Are you still wet? It's okay. We just missed this. By maybe an hour. You're still so young, you're not even scared. Are you being a good mom, honey? Well, we're gonna be back in milk tomorrow. Lots of milk. Most people are hoping they get a little heifer. A little heifer eventually turns into a milk cow, but we have two heifers, so we're gonna have two future milk cows to pick from. I think we only need one. We should find out if this one's A2A2. There we go. We have Harriet, who's separated over across the creek, and then we have this one, which I think has a better constitution. I think this might be the milk cow we keep. A2A2 genetics means the milk is easier to digest. There's a 50-50 chance she's A1A2, she's stud muffins. And he was A1A2, mom's A2A2. Take this just so I don't lose the tusks. It's the skin particles at the end of the hair where I pulled them out and we need 20 of these hairs so don't lose any of them. And give it to mom, or find a, uh, a white envelope and put it in and then give it to mom. Yeah, most people want females, but I feel like we have two to choose from. Most people don't want bu uh, bulls, bullets, I call them, bull bullitos, uh, little bulls. Uh-oh, because they will, um, well, we want them because meat. It's a little boy. That's great. Last two calves have been girls, yes. Harriet and mint chocolate Yes, so there's going to be a little bit of a beef drought there. You can eat a heifer, it's no problem, except... They come into heat, sexual maturity uh, like six months old, and that's awful young to be breeding them, and you don't want to breed them if you're going to eat them. And so on a homestead, it can be hard to keep, the, especially if you have a bull, to keep them away from the bull and getting bred. For us, we put them across the creek in the woods. They're coming down Wait, here that a little later. Baby? Yeah, that's the baby right there. Yeah. No, the calf's just meeting it for the first time. Permaculture teaches us to use plants and animals due to the work of the farm. We've got this overgrown creek bank. I'll be honest though, we've, we've used animals to do this before and they'll do it. It's not easy, easy. I mean, we gotta put a net up. I mean, that part's easy. But getting them from where they are way up there, down here, we either have to use a, herd them into a trailer and get them down here or herd them down here, which could be a little tricky. It would be easier just to string trim this. But here's what I've got. This nook and cranny farm with more animals than pasture, we can use every bit of feed that we can muster. So that's what this is about. We got feed and we are getting something done. We're gonna try to hurt them, not put them in a trailer? Yeah. I'm kinda of leaning that way, maybe, but only like 55%. You don't think Ike's gonna be the wild card and go somewhere crazy? No, he might. Should we get the trailer and funnel him into it? No. This could go really well, this could go really bad. I think Ike, the, the ram, is our wild card. Harriet is, she's looking good. Hey, look, Ike, give Ike a taste. Nope, they're gonna leave me. Oh boy, that's already backfiring. All right, just stay calm. Just do it calm. I really concerned, Tom. Look, he's headed for that woods. This is not bad. If the sheep get in the woods, it's very hard. 
to find them, get them out. This is when I wish we would have got the trailer. Come on, up, up. Jonah, cut them off up there. Go wider. You and I are close together here. We gotta stay wide. One of the problems is sheep and cows don't herd exactly alike. Cows, if this, I wouldn't be worried a bit if this were just two cows. Wow, there he went nuts. Here. Hey, 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 watch him. Watch him. I don't know if Alpha didn't do anything for us. Here we go. I don't think they'll, up, oh, up. Oh. They naturally herd along a path. That's good, Josiah, that's good, wait on us. Wow, we're looking pro. Oh, they're three feet away from the fence. They see it on the ground. There, they did it. Wow, we're pro. <laughs> Dang, good job, boys. Well, that went incredibly well. There were no hiccups, none. Not best practice to have them on the creek, but just for a few days that this is gonna take, I think it's just fine. If you leave them too long on a creek, Continual access, they'll erode the bank. But it is really how they would get their water in nature, so I don't mind it from time to time. If you're doing regenerative farming, they're in the creek, they're gonna poop, and you're not getting poop on your pasture, which is where you want it, so that'd be another drawback. Isn't that funny? That's the first place these guys went to. They're just exploring. They're learning the territory. Already mowing our banks. Okay, now if it goes that smooth, this is easier than taking a string trimmer to this. Act two of today's vlog, we're working on our homestead house. We got big things to do today. Put all those in here. Yep. The doors? Yeah, we'll put the doors in here just like that. Floor guys are coming tomorrow. Oh, I just realized something. Does the countertops had to put us off from today to tomorrow? Yes. What about the floor guys? Is that gonna mess them up? Um, well, I'm hoping hey. we can start in the office. Painters are gonna wrap up with phase one. At lunch, we're gonna have to come in and transform this place to get ready for the wood guys. We're ready for the countertops here. And this is gonna be an island bar. Isn't that gonna be grand? Look at that. Painters are Gonna paint in the bathrooms today. Definitely check out that railing up in that extra bonus space loft. That was not in the plans, but I'm glad it happened. We were just working at the house. I had to come back over because Henry needed me before he goes off and plays. So, came back, changed the poopy diaper. Yes, he still poops in his pants. Now I'm going back because I had started doing my tomatoes. I planted three tomatoes up here. I planted like a yellow big tomato. And then I planted two sun golds. This is my, my one row of tomatoes up here. I've got to get it under control. And so that is what I'm going to do now. I get these clips. This is what I use in the high tunnel. And I'm just clipping them to my cage. I don't want to take too much off to start with because I can always go back and prune more. So this is done. I actually saved some suckers. So I have those here. I'm gonna go put them in dirt in the greenhouse so that when these are dying, they'll be ready to go. I saw one time a video where it was like super lush. It was super lush and I want that but I'll be, I don't know I don't know what climate they were in so that definitely you know plays a part of it so because in a year really dry year that might work for us but in a super wet year I would have so much blight here we are experimenting so we put we had peas here so that peas that didn't produce because I probably planted them too late so in its stead we ripped those out put in zucchini so we're gonna try to trellis the zucchini up. We're gonna see what happens. Just never know. It might work, it might work, it might not work. Who knows? Grab my suckers. I'm gonna go down to the greenhouse now. Are you guys picking that up by hand or with the machine? By hand. All right. A little tricky to get the truck back here. Picking up from our Japanese knotweed war yesterday. Never mind. We're gonna bring the mini eggs here since we have to pull up these briars. Entry of hail. forward because you're just gonna break it because you want to pull it straight up you know what I mean 
Where's that little chain that's over there? We need a way to connect this better. Yeah, that just broke it off, twisting two sideways. We need to be able to lift straight up. Yeehaw! That's a big briar bush. Adios. I'm out to look at Beauty's tomatoes. Jamming. I'm proud to say we finally nailed our system in the high tunnel. Chickens on wood chips in the winter. Remove the top layer of wood chips. Shape the bed from the soil that chickens have made. Add some compost and voila. I've never done suckers before. So we're gonna try it out. This one's got a weird hook in it. But these all ones are gonna be sun golds. I have to walk back over to the high tunnel to do that we can look we can look in there because it's so exciting so exciting the remodel is happening we got two weeks for flooring and then we have two more weeks for the other trades to come in and then the painters are the last people to come back in and kind of finish it and then it's done looks so good oh my goodness look at how big they're loaded oh my gosh they're the plants are just loaded with tomatoes or blossoms i'm like so excited but also like terrified because i'd have nowhere to process these i planted this garden with the thought that the house would be done <laughs> and that is not happening next up the glorious jobs that no one else will do okay Gotta get ready for the plumber tomorrow. We've got a plumbing line coming out from the toilet. Downstairs, right here somewhere. Maybe you go closer to the wall. I hope it's not too deep, Jonah, because we won't have enough fall. We've got to connect plumbing from to drain the bathrooms. Come down through here and this septic tank. Septic tank's right there, but where does it end? That's where we're gonna find out right now. We have to expose this by shovel. There's no way around. Hey, you gotta stay, no, you gotta stay right along the tank. It's terrible work, but there is something so satisfying about getting a begrudging, a begrudging job done. Pipes revealed, coming out of the house, into the septic tank there. And now, I do think there's enough fall from right here yes. to right there. We'll work with the plumber tomorrow to set this. Rebecca and Lily back from errands. These children have never had a jelly bean. Wait, what? Is this true? I don't think so. Lily has true? never had a jelly bean. And Lily sold these at the co op. Organic? Mm hmm. Organic. It's not really good practice, even organic, because it's sugar. I mean, it's just sugar. It's just junk. It's just straight sugar. It's just junk with, organic. With some, with some natural food. <laughs> with some so wax. So you're not making a habit of this, are no, you? No, no. She just wanted to try it. See if you like them, Lily. Have you had one, Henry? Let me taste one, okay? Well, that's weird. It's Candy. Swish. Act three. We are getting ready for the floor, guys, tomorrow. And counters. Painters are done with phase one. What should I do with this? Throw it in the dumpster. All right, actually that's untreated wood. We just must make a pond. Let's burn Use it for our bath. Smiley one. All hands on deck. Wait, we just Sweeping, here? vacuuming. We have cleaned this area up. Many hands make light to work. What we did in 30 minutes, Andy, with everybody? Yep. I want to show you guys this though. Look at this. Look at that. So clear and brisk. Open these huge windows, let the air in. Look at the farm. That's what it's about. 